A pleasant morning to everyone. Our report for today is all about schooling of girls. Education is a being human right that, sh that should be exercised fully in all nations. A girl's education is an essential starting point in establishing equality everywhere. Let's back first for the human rights. There are some definitions of human rights. It promotes individual freedom and empowerment and yields important development benefits. Education is a powerful tool by which economically and socially marginalized adults and children can lift themselves out of poverty and participate fully as citizens. For sure, human rights is talk about our freedom. Despite the Constitution guaranteeing equality before the law and non-discrimination on the basis of sex remains a patriarchal society, male inheritance and property ownership, early marriage. There are schools but most girls do not attend often because of religious reason or cultural pressure. Girls are not receiving equality. Another one. Higher education. There is some disagreement in the definition of higher education. Some define it purely as education that will be in college degree, at least an associate degree. Others believe it is the pursuit of any education at level where attendance is voluntary. It should be noted that definition of higher education could vary from country to country. Not all countries have compulsory education equivalent to what a person might get in American high school. Higher education is seldom compulsory. Not everyone needs to go to college or trade school, and few countries make this education mandatory. A bit of confusion can now exist in many high school that offer advanced placement or AP courses. Not all schools have AP or advanced placement programs. But this doesn't mean a student can currently pursue a diploma and college credit at the same time. Let's have the one. Secondary completion rates for girls and boys. That is the some example of secondary completion rates for girls and boys. Secondary completion is computed by dividing the total number of students in the last grade of secondary education school minus repeaters in that grade by the total number of children of official completing age. Secondary completing rates are important to measure since the drop of dropout rates and highest and lower secondary grades. This, these are the age with both the actual cost and the opportunity cost of education became higher. There may be gender different as willingness to school girls. Girls. Let's proceed to the disaggregation. It is particularly important to disaggregate this indicator by sex, income, disability, region, and separately for ch children is a in region of conflict since. Children in such region are at greatest risk of dropping off of the schooling system. That is also one of the examples of being disaggregation or separate for children of region conflict. Let's proceed to the comment and limitation. Secondary completion rates are more difficult to compare across countries since the structure of schooling varies widely and the different age group differ accordingly. Further, students at the secondary level have access to 
alternate pathway through vocational or other non-formal programs. So global comparison is in harder. Secondary completion rates, therefore, can only be calculated on a national basis with reference to the number of years of schooling of that particular country. Let's proceed to the feminization of teaching profession. Woman and the feminization of the teaching of profession has been debated for decades in some places for over a century. The term feminization has tended to apply to countries where women are significant majority in the teaching workplace. And the other one, this definition is feminization. Feminization in the teaching has become a feminized, feminized profession, especially in elementary teaching in which it is regarded as woman work. Concern about the extension of men in the field resulted in call for male teachers. Good morning, sir. Our report for today is feminization of teaching profession. Um, women and the feminization of the teaching profession has been debated for decades, in some places for over a century. The term feminization has tended to apply to countries where women were a significant majority in the teaching workforce. So it means that the feminization of the workplace is the feminization or the shift in gender roles and sex roles and the incorporation of women into a group or a profession once dominated by men as it relates to the workplace. So I have an example of this. A woman, a police woman on duty. This, are, this is the picture. So, um, feminization is a statistical, sociological, and education exploration. However, when sociologists and educators refer to feminization, they are referring to labor market tendencies where the participation of women in various occupations is increasing. Similarly, the working groups of the European Trade Union Committee for Education, or ITUC, use the term feminization to describe the phenomenon of large-scale entry into the teaching profession by women. So, I have a picture of a uh, feminism uh, woman. Why don't more men go into teaching? So, across the country, teaching is an overwhelmingly female profession. And in fact, has been more sober time. More than three quarters of all teachers in kindergarten through high school are women. According to education department data uh, from about two-thirds three decades ago, the disparity is most pronounced in elementary and middle schools where more than 80% of teachers are women. So feminism. Fem feminism is an inter disciplinary so what it means discipline interdisciplinary relating to more than one branch of knowledge so approach to issues of equality and equity based on gender the equality is mean equality means each individual or group of people as is given the same resources or opportunities while equity is um, recognizes the that each person has different circumstances and allocates the exact resources and opportunities needed to reach an equal at outcome. I have an example or picture of this. Um, equality versus equity. In the first image, it is assumed that everyone will benefit from the same supports. They are being treated equally. In the second image, individuals are given different supports to make it possible for them to have equal access to the game they are being treated equitably equitably in the third image all three can see the game without any supports or accommodations because the cost of the inequity was addressed the systematic barrier has been removed so 
Um, and in gender expression, gender identity, sex and sexuality as understood, though social theories and um, political activism, historically, feminism has evolved from the critical examination of the inequality between the sexes to a more nuanced focused focus on the social and performative construction of gender sexuality. So gender expression or gender presentation is a person's behavior, manneries, uh, manner, rhythms, interest and appearance that are associated with gender, spe specifically with the uh, um, categories of femininity or masculinity. Gender identity. Gender identity is the personal sense of one's own gender. Gender identity can co relate with the person's assigned sex or can differ from it. Feminist theory now aims to interrogate inequalities and inequities along the intersectional lines of abil ability. Class, gender, race, sex, and sexuality and feminist seek to effect change in areas where their intersectional ties create iniquity. Feminism is an awareness of women's oppression and exploitation in the society at the place of work and with the family and uh, conscious action to change the situation. Feminism is an awareness of patrician control exploitation and oppression of material and ideological levels of women's labor, fertility, and sexuality in the family, at the, pla at the place of work, and in, so in society, in general, and conscious action. So, women teaching and the feminization debate within the context of the Education Millennium Development Goals or MDGs and Education for All, if a. Women and the teaching is an area that is particularly pert pertinent to the Education MDGs and if AFA goals. Developing countries are dual challenge of education expansion and universal provision while ensuring equality and equity. Historical analysis indicates that an influx of women in, into the teaching profession has been central to these successes. From a purely human resourcing perspective, female labor has been instrumental at fulfilling capacity needs, while from the perspectives of educating women and girls, the presence of women teachers has been a major, a major Contribute contributory factors. So, women and the uh, teaching profession is a glowing issue raised in mind. The term feminization comes from the those countries where women are a significant majority in the teaching workforce. It is observed that the issues surrounding women, the teaching profession, and feminization have been wide ranging. Some discussions have attempted to address the implications. Implications of a majority female teaching profession as meant for gender equality, including women's overall empowerment with society and the economy. So, next, women teaching and the feminization debate within the context of broader gender equality. So, just as gender equality in education and women in the teaching profession have strong linkages, so the issue of women teaching and the feminization debate also have a place within the broader context of gender in society as a whole. The Gender Equality MDJ or Millennium Development Goals stipulates outcome beyond education that includes women, role in wage employment, and Women's rep representation in political processes. Teaching has been instrumental in providing many women in feminized education systems with access to their first formal waged employment opportunities and in so doing has been a step towards meeting the broader 
goals surrounding economic empowerment as mandated by the SIDAO. SIDAO is convention or the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. So, Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action on 1995-2015 and the Con Commonwealth Plan of Action of Gender Equality on 2005 last 2005 and 2015 last I mean rather rather so the second world congress of education international in 1998 put down a resolution in the increasingly feminized nature of the teaching profession that highlighted many of this broader issues this included several trends that indicate a discrepancy in quality within feminized teaching workforce. What's happening in discrepancy? So, discrepancy means a lack of compatibility or similarity. Workforce such as the wide variances in numbers within A, the, vi a, the, vi the wide variances in numbers within education sectors, and B, an under distribution of women across the teaching career here are k concern regarding an undervaluing of work that becomes traditionally associated with women these dualities of impact and consequence women in teaching as in instrumental in education profession generally and female education in particular on the on the one hand versus and entrenching of gender inequalities through the feminization of the profession on the other makes the topic one of multi-layered issues and applicability in the development context so women states in developing countries called cultures in asia um, the development of country is very dependent on the roles and freedom that women received re received the gender role vary geographically between more developed countries and less developed countries. This empowerment is a huge change because instead of women doing uh, minuscule jobs or as doing as done before, the women are in office and leading countries. This is a big change because women have always had very few people of their gender in school. This is primary because of their role has been to work at home and take care of all the minuscule jobs around the house so what do you mean by cultural uh, cultural is a part of the fabric of every society including our own it shape the way things are done and our understanding of why this should be so this more comprehensive approach is proposed in the definition of culture adopted at the World Conference on Cultural Policies and Used in Ongoing. So that's our report, sir. And